and then certainly adding my my touch with playing for you know for 13 years in the NBA just having that relationship with players understanding what they want to do all of these players have the same goals and so I try to help them throughout throughout our system through working through our system the things that we like to do as Lewis will work off the angle shot clock under five now and a contested three off the right wing and a great finish Wendell Moore Brooklyn struggled to score the ball especially in the second half in their most recent outing and they answer back out of the right corner Edwards Gray Sharp Duke Thomas the start for Brooklyn and a nice members bounce inside the jar for Lewis see if he can get up to the rim in this ball game here's sharp up strong and buckets it's a great finish 68 197 Here's Duke again and attacking the rim for a second time here in the quarter. David Duke, another guy who has that one year under his belt. Product of Providence, Ed Cooley. Been in the league a little bit. Great passing there, though. Well, he's made Summer League his own personal playground. Co-MVP yeah. last yeah. year. He's in position to possibly do it again. That's a patient finish there by Kevon Harris. That ball punched in the air by Gray. Brooklyn aggressive here by, on defense, but um, sometimes it bounces your way. And that's an easy putback stuff. And we mentioned the, the productivity in the paint. Both teams with six points in the paint so far, but Brooklyn has already gotten to the line and shot six free throws. They hit all of them. Thomas, pure off the left wing. It's a good looking shot right there. Spagnolo in for his first run as well. Look out, here goes Minot, and he's denied at the rim by Dayron Sharp. And they really space the floor here offensively. Kirkwood off the pump fake, hands it to Gray, and then he is able to finish it the rest of the way. That was great. Beautiful execution there. Here's Duke off the right side. His success in the early in the quarter came from getting to the rim. Off the pump fake, Alanis Ooh. Williams takes a hit, Ooh. scoops it home, will go to the line for a possible three-point play. A little pick and pop with Shayok in those space. Shayok's going to go under the broken line. Shot blocked by Gray, but it squirts out to Brown, who buries the three to beat the shot clock buzzer. You know, gambles, if you will, and trying to create even more um, turnovers and, you know, and also... You know, use uh, some different looks in pick and roll. That, like, Let's go to the basketball being played in front of us, Coach. As you watch some of these guys that are have been with you on two-way deals, are competing for opportunities, yeah. are looking toward the future. What have you liked from the summer league squad? Well, uh, what you love about all these guys is just how hard they. It's so funny. Excuse me. Got some rain today, got a little break from the heat, and we've had a fun night so far here inside Cox Pavilion. Good and finish. that's a big time finish there by yeah. two nights ago. Your points in the paint, Sean, 18 to eight. Or maybe that makes 10 now. 18 to 10. So we had Chris Finch on, the head coach of the Timberwolves. George Sedano. Uh, as folks might imagine, the Nets are a little bit busy trying to figure some things out. <laughs> so. Okay, so you want to open that box up, huh? Well, I mean, another great finish at the rim. Let's, why not? Okay. Oh, it was a dump truck full <laughs> of assets. And, you know, I didn't bring it up with Chris Finch. You know, you get the feeling. It's like, it's like, since we're here in Vegas, it's like, well, you know what? Go for it. Yeah. Ships shoved right. them all. They shoved them all in. Yeah. It's it's go now and. I do wonder about the halftime adjustments that Minnesota's going to make. The length on that young man right there. It's impressive, right? Under a minute to go in the period. Duke splitting two. Edwards kicks it out. Shooter Thomas. Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so just over a. Half a minute to go. Whoa, okay. Swat. Down the stretch here in the first half, and they turn it over right on the inbounds. Wendell Moore Jr. makes him pay with the lane at the other end. So this, and, But this makes me think that if, Brooke, if Minnesota excuse me, can just settle down a little bit, 
They're willing to play defense. They're in passing lanes. They're disruptive. Thomas oh. with three tenths <laughs> left on the clock. As I gush about Minnesota's defense, Cam Thomas silences us all. Talk to him about uh, the best tostones he's had all over the country. We had that conversation. But real quick, would, would be remiss if we didn't talk some baseball with you with the All-Star game coming up. Bad. It was, like, simply was bad. You know what? For me, it wasn't batting practice and it wasn't the game. And when they took the batting cage away, I just felt like I was on an island all by myself. Each team has seven three-pointers thus far. Brooklyn shooting a little better in the field. Here is Wendell Moore Jr. That's pretty. Off the right high post. He looks more and more comfortable as the game progresses. A great simple read. All ACC second teamer. And this is very physical at the rim and a fantastic finish by Dayron Sharp. That time, Iron Unkind, a little backspin off the rim. Sam Thomas, we were talking about. He has dazzled here again as he was the co MVP last year. Thomas has shined tonight. He had 13 in the first half. Another touch from Minot. Climbs Edwards. Tip follow. The finish of this segment of the NBA Summer League will know the top two teams after tomorrow Ooh. playing. No, no, that young man's name. Sharp. Woo-wee. Here's Terrell Brown. Downhill on Williams. Great Runs attack. it up and in. Great attack. Former Georgetown guard Monica McNutt at the other microphone. That's Duke climbing the defender. Popped and in. That's, now that's just flat out athleticism, toughness, man. <laughs> Wendell Moore Jr. on wired up for us. He's shined again here out of Duke University. And a Finally. big shot out of the corner to that they have put themselves in a position to perhaps be in that championship game. Oh, wow. A little bunny, the two foot jump stop, and David Duke. Oh, wow. It's toward the rim. Wow, great defense. Gates with a strip. Here's Duke again, good feet ahead, great hands, the silky mitts for Kessler Edwards. Shayok off one foot, skips it off the oh. rim, it sat on the rim and wouldn't fall. Moore's going to get a look, and he rinsed it to end the quarter. Refreshing to hear, obviously you never hear, or you rarely hear, front office types have that kind of conversation openly. But I, it makes me believe that Donovan will be gone. And, uh, and other places as well, including the Miami Herald, that the Heat have made an offer to them and that the Jazz weren't necessarily keen on whatever the offer was. But the, uh, the reality is this. Danny Age and Pat Riley have a history. Portion of this program, and whether it's Kevin Durant or Donovan Mitchell, um, the price is going to be one thing now and it's going to be different later. Um, but at least Donovan Mitchell, to me, for the Knicks, would answer the question of a guy that can go get a bucket. Period. Right? Sure. Um... And so for the Knicks, I think he's better than Rudy. And then the other part is, you know, Danny Ainge hasn't really minced words. How badly does he want to move on from Donovan Mitchell? Right. Right. I would agree. That That's interesting. But, you know, it, it, the one thing about this league, as you guys both know, there's always drama. Mm -hmm. And it's it's great. It really is. I, I know that Commissioner Silver does, doesn't love. And I, you know, are we making it more than a than it is. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I think that I'm not going to put this on Kevin Durant. The, the thing that really stuck with the owners, and it was lengthened by the fact that it was yeah. timed around the All-Star break and took it you know, all the way to the end of the regular season. And, and, so and by the way, that's I'm, not what anybody wants in season for sure. Uh, at that particular time. But I just think that the owners don't want to set a precedent, right? So I understand both sides of the equation. Yeah. I defended his outfit, but other than that. <laughs> by the way, uh, you guys mentioned Paolo Banquero's uh, ice. Oh, did I left mine at home back oh. in L.A. Sorry. <laughs> Strikes me as the consummate pro, right? Just making the right, boom. Beautiful passing. <laughs> Just makes the right basketball plays and his ability to finish. Will you be upset if I say happy birthday a little prematurely? He'll be 89 in September. Oh my gosh, happy birthday, Hubie! So, a little early, but... We should all be able to live long, impactful lives and keep doing what it is we love. About a minute to go! Oh, and that one with some hair on it. Yikes! And they get 35% of their... Three balls to go, a 9 of 26. They get 26 points from Cam Thomas, 20 from Sharp, and 15 from Edwards.